Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going through my February Ipsy bag. Ipsy is a service, it's a subscription service that you pay $10 a month for and you receive five to six sample sized beauty items. It could be skincare, it could be brushes, it could be makeup. Sometimes you even get full sizes. You get it once a month, it's delivered automatically. February's bag is this denim bag with uh, some orange plastic piping and a little orange lip zipper pull. So inside, I did receive, I received this Luxie 514 blush brush, which I happen to love when I receive brushes because, I don't know, I guess I can never get enough of them. It's, uh, I have a lot of brushes, I have a lot of brushes, but I really like, I really like getting brushes. It doesn't make me angry. I know a lot of you, if you get the brushes, you're like, why do I have so many? But I can never have enough. I'm pretty happy about, this. I'm happy about this one. And it is a Luxie brush, so every Luxie brush I have ever received is pink with like this rose gold ferrule and they are synthetic and they're pretty good. I, I've liked all of them that I've received so far. Uh, this is like my third or fourth Luxie brush. So I'm excited to try this and see if I like it for blush. If not, I'm sure I can find something that this will work for and I'll still be happy. So I'm excited about that. I received this, the Organic Pharmacy Lip and Eye Cream. It seems to have like a, a mix of good ingredients and ingredients that I don't love so much. But the ones that I really don't love so much are more towards the bottom. So uh, maybe this is okay. It says that it's a rich cream with eye bright, fennel, bilberry, and frankincense to nourish. So I'll try it, see how I like it. I received a NYX. Butter lipstick. It's a honestly, it's a shade I'm never gonna wear. It's a deep, it's a deep, like reddish color, and I'll swatch it for you. Yeah, I won't. I guess it's kind of like a berry red, but it's it's really not. It's not my cup of tea. So. I will probably never wear this lipstick. A Hikari cream pigment. Hikari, I think I might have gotten an eyeshadow from them before, so I don't recall. I've been with Ipsy for over a year. Not, not so much, not sure how much over a year, but definitely over a year. So I've received a lot of things in the past. Okay, and this is like a copper color. It's a large pan, it's definitely, I'm not trying to give you the finger there, but that's the color. I'll just do it right here. It swatches very nicely. It's a, it's a copper color, which is, um, I have, I have a million copper eyeshadows, so I'm not super excited about that. The formula seems nice. It's, it's a foil finish. It seems okay. I will, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's just as good as a lot of my other copper eyeshadows. <laughs> and then last but not least, I received this True Botanicals Resurfacing Moisture Mask. I got really excited when I saw, when I saw the little logo on there. It's like a Fibonacci spiral. I was really excited about that. Fibonacci sequence is a mathematical sequence of numbers that is found in nature a lot. <laughs> Flowers, pine cones, waves, um, like you name it. Fibonacci sequence are the numbering system of nature. So I got excited when I saw that because 
I immediately thought, okay, this company is pretty smart. I immediately thought, well, this company is pretty smart and they're pretty scientific, just, just based off of the logo. So I put a lot of trust in them immediately. And I have to admit that I did put this on last night without knowing anything about the product whatsoever. <laughs> I opened it up and I smelled it and it smells like flowers. It smells just like flowers. So I thought, well, that could be fragrance or it could be, it could be fragrant ingredients, which isn't necessarily fragrance. I just went with my gut and I put it on and then afterwards, then I looked up the company True Botanicals on the internet and this is some good stuff, guys. This is like, this is this might be one of the most exciting products I've ever had in my Ipsy bag. It's a resurfacing mask, it's so it's it's like a peel. It's kind of like along the same lines of the Sunday Riley or Drunk Elephant peels, only this one you are supposed to wipe off after five minutes, I believe. Maybe ten or twenty. I'm not entirely sure. I have to look at that again. But it's, it's, it definitely, like these ones, I think I like the ones that you, that you're supposed to wipe off a little bit better than the ones that you're supposed to leave on overnight because I find them more effective. I had used one by Rhode Isle in the past and that one has to be my all time favorite, but this rivals that. Unfortunately, they're about the same price, so choosing one over the other. I guess it would just come down to who has the better ingredients because they are they are very expensive. A full size of this bad boy is going to cost you $90. This is not a full size. <laughs> uh, that would be sad. If this was $90, that would be that would be scary. But yeah, so like I don't know. I just I kicked out on the whole Fibonacci thing, which to me that has that has a that's tied in with some personal memories and maybe someday I will go into those a little bit um, but at this point uh, I will just I'll just say that it brought a smile to my face and I also know that I, I knew that the company has you know scientific mathematical knowledge to go ahead and use that as their logo so I appreciated that immediately when I saw that and then uh, after I used it, this is the only thing I did use so far, uh, but after I did use this, I like it. It's very good. It, my skin this morning was very soft and there's a noticeable difference. So this is definitely enough for me to, that's enough to get quite a bit of use out of. Um, I'm not so sure how long I'll be able to use it for, but uh, it'll take me a while to go through that. I don't think it would be something that I use every day, maybe like twice a week. And yeah, so I really enjoyed it. And I will definitely look into whether this product or the Rhode Isle has the better ingredients. I did look at the ingredients of this and they are really good. They're really, really, really fantastic skincare ingredients. So it will just, it'll come down to who is better ingredient wise because they are the same price so it doesn't matter <laughs> so that's my ipsy bag for february and i hope you enjoyed watching my ipsy bag i hope you enjoyed watching this video uh, i have a reminder that i do still have a giveaway going on uh that video is a couple videos prior to this one so if you go ahead and watch that video you will learn how to enter um, basically you just have to be subscribed, uh, but go ahead and watch the video anyway, so if you'd like. Um, anyway, that's it for now, so I will, I will see you guys soon in another video. Thanks for stopping by again, and I would really appreciate it if you comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, that really helps me out, so if you have the time to do that, go ahead. And I will see you again soon. Thank you. Bye. What is that? Why can't I just say like a normal goodbye? I don't understand. Like, guys, this is harder than it seems to like just be staring at a camera, talking to myself, and I fudge the goodbye every video. So I am working on this.
I will eventually get better at it, hopefully, or maybe not. Maybe I will just always stink at saying goodbye. But I'm hoping that it will be something that I improve at because I don't think I could get any worse at saying goodbye. So I'm just going to keep it simple. 